the uh, Washington Free Beacons correspondent, Elizabeth Harrington, uh, who did a very fascinating story on uh, Dr. Marilyn C. Jerome. This is the wife of John Faust, supervisor, Fairfax County. He was also running for Congress as a Democrat in the 10th Congressional District, trying to win that seat, uh, the retiring Frank Wolf. Now, you can read this piece by Elizabeth Harrington. Just go to freebeacon.com, freebeacon.com. Now, here's what's interesting also. What you said, uh, Liz, about um, uh, Dr. Jerome, John Faust's wife, is that, uh, let me get to this. She said, in one of her statements, she said, there are 18.6 million women who do not have health insurance now and are eligible for this coverage, and another 4.6 million low-income women who could benefit from from Medicaid expansion, she wrote, except if you're going to her (laughs) for health care. I mean, how can you write this and not accept it? How can you say this? This is the most duplicious thing I've ever I've ever seen. You know, there's 4.6 low income women who could benefit from Medicaid expansion. Dr. Jerome says, John Faust's wife, except if you try and get an appointment with her then you're out right, of luck right you, then you've got to go then you've got to go to dick sazzle's health practice it's she incredible it on the website and uh, so she's out there using the business using her status as an OBGYN to advance obamacare to advance her husband's campaign which of course i mean of course she's supporting her husband's campaign but it's stunning that she's you know saying all these things when you know she's it's this uh, tone deaf, like just tunnel vision. I, I mean, to not even realize that. Well, wait a minute. We don't even accept it here. But they're <laughs> using the business to promote, you know, expanding Medicaid, and it just. I mean, I don't. It and, really and so is a double standard. It is a double standard. And so the question is to Dr. Jerome: Why don't you accept Medicaid expansion? Why don't you accept Medicaid in your practice? Why don't you accept it? There's got to be a reason. Well, the reason is. It's a failed system that doesn't work, and they can't make enough money out of it. So once again, it's like screw the other doctors, uh, screw everybody else, but not me. I'll continue to make more money by rejecting it. That's my choice because I'm part of the elite, and then uh, somebody else will have to deal with it. Meantime, I'll go around making statements about all these women that uh, are, are low income who don't have access to health care, yet if they had access and they came to me, I'd shut the door in their face because it's a failed system. And I don't want any part of it because I can't make enough money with it. Is that incredible or what? Yeah, I mean, again, it's, it's really, it's it's pretty blatantly, you know, just a, a double standard. And I think it's definitely something that should be should come up in the campaign, especially when John Faust has made it um, one of his signature issues and one of the things he's running on. I think uh, I think Dr. Jerome, John Faust's wife, either has to rescind everything that she said publicly or she has to turn around and accept Medicaid today. Otherwise, this is a, a, a completely elitist and duplicious and basically an insult to my intellect, and I'm offended that I would have a that I would have any to read this stuff like I'm an idiot. Like it's fine for everybody else, but it's not fine for her, yet she's going to impugn people like me that didn't think it was a good idea because doctors like her were not accepting it. How does that make any sense? Right, it doesn't. And another another thing that uh, Drum Faust said has said during this campaign, he said uh, not expanding Medicaid to rural hospitals, quote, could be devastating. Well, apparently it's not devastating to, you know, his wife's practice to not accept Medicaid. So I think that's also interesting. It's, it's just, it's, it, it's so duplicious. It uh, really is uh, amazing to me. Now, I've got a couple more minutes. Let's let, let's get to Eric Holder's wife. What's the deal with that? Well, yes, um, his, his wife, uh, Dr. Sharon D. Malone, also uh, practices uh, at this Fox Hall OBGYN Associates in Spring Valley. Um, from what I know, they've practiced together at least for over almost 20 years. She joined uh, in the late 80s. Uh, Dr. Jerome's been there since 82. Um, so 
Yeah, I mean, Eric Holder's wife's also practicing there, also does not accept Medicaid. I haven't looked into it too much more as to, you know, see what other connections they might have. But from what it looks like, there's a very nice, very upscale OBGYN office. It's in Spring Valley. It's a very nice neighborhood up in uh, Upper Northwest. Um, and, yeah, so they definitely practice together. They both you know, and Eric Holder's out there lockstep with President Obama's agenda as well. And we just thought it was interesting that they both work at this office. It's a very nice upper scale uh, office, and they both don't take Medicaid. So we thought it was useful to add to the story that they're, um, you know, this is a kind of an elite uh, OB OBGYN uh, practice. Must be good enough for the other guy, not good enough for them. Back to that <laughs> same issue, 855. Now, I also emailed. Uh, one of the operatives of the Faust campaign uh, when your piece came out, and I said, you know, what's your comment? Do you have anything to say? And uh, I didn't get that. I've asked uh, them to get John Faust on our show many times. Uh, I've gotten no response back either because uh, they would, I guess, rather uh, just go meet with the editorial board of the Washington Post where it's nice and safe and cozy, right. and they'll, they'll offer them a nice cold soft drink or a hot cup of coffee and make sure that he's sitting in a very comfortable seat rather than come on a show like ours and get asked real meaningful questions in a public environment. 856 here on the John Frederick Show. We want to thank Elizabeth Harrington of the Washington Free Beacon for this piece. Now, here's what you need to do. You can follow Liz real easy. You can just go to at Liz. Uh, I just just had this, Liz. What's your tw at Twitter? At Liz name? WFB. At Liz WFB. At Liz On WFB. Twitter. Or go to uh, freebeacon.com, freebeacon.com. Hey, Liz.